Hello guys, this is the third part of the character creation series with Blender and in this one I will use Substance Painter to paint in height and texture for the eyes of the ghost. First I select the low poly ghost model in Blender and export it as FBX. Be sure to select Mesh and Selected Objects. After exporting the FBX, open Substance Painter, press New and select the exported ghost model. Ok, here's our ghost and the first thing I do is to bake the textures like normal or curvature map with 2K resolution. Once the textures are baked, I will add a new fill layer to the layer stack. Then I import the diffuse texture that we created with Blender. Press import resource, select the ghost diffuse map, set it to texture and import it to your project. Then select the project tab and drag the diffuse map to the base color slot of the fill layers material. Set the UV scale to 1 and here we go. The next step will be to paint in depth for the eyes. So I will drag the empty layer 1 above the fill layer and call it hide eyes. And for the material I use a black color and disable all the channels except the color and the height. I pull the slider for the height channel to the left so that it feels like that we carve into the model with the brush. The flow I reduce to about 50%. Now I could draw directly onto the 3D model, but I decided to draw into the 2D view to have more control, especially for the edges of the eyes. Paint this in really slowly and carefully to create a slight border around the eyes. Ok, this looks quite decent and you can check the result also on the left side in the 3D view. I will do the same now for the left eye as well. Great, I'm already happy with the result, but to emphasize the depth of the eye, I will add a new layer, choose a different alpha and a grey color and draw this into the black areas of the eyes. Alright, now it's time to export the textures to use it in Blender. In the export templates you won't find Blender, but we have a Shade 3D, which will export a normal OpenGL map and a diffuse, so I will copy this and call it Blender. 
I just need the normal and the diffuse map, so I will remove the specular and roughness here. Then select this new Blender configuration and export the textures to our Blender project folder. Here we have it, the new diffuse and normal map, and to use it in Blender is actually quite simple because we already defined the cycles material for the ghost with an image texture for the diffuse. The only thing we have to do here is to change the image for the node, and then just duplicate this image node, set it to non-color data, and open the exported normal map. Then add a normal map node and connect it, and we are done. I really like the result of this step, and in the next part I will rig the model to prepare it for animation. I hope you enjoy this series, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss the next part, and please consider supporting me, be my patron, which allows me to invest more time in creating my tutorials. Thanks for watching guys, and see you soon.